Hello again everyone. This is the final video in the 10th Muse Pauldron series. However, I will combine and re-release these videos as a standalone video with more traditional narration. For those of you who are interested, this template is now available at armortemplates.com. So pick up a copy and try building this piece of armor for yourself. If you have not yet seen the previous videos in this series, there are links to them in the description under the video. In the last two videos, we discussed the problem of the lack of creativity in the world today compared to previous years. There were many of you who agreed, but still a good number of you who disagreed. I see this as a good thing because if I'm wrong about this, and there are still people out there fighting this battle, then that can only be good for the world. Personally, I'm still very much concerned about the lack of creativity I see in nearly every category. But that horse has been thoroughly beaten in my opinion, and I certainly don't want to bore you with any of my commentary. So for this video, instead of talking about the lack of creativity, I would like to discuss a related topic, but something quite different. Please feel free to comment below with your thoughts on it. I'm often asked how I learned to do certain things, uh, like armoring or drawing, etc. I was never taught anything of substance on these subjects by anyone else. I just saw inspirational things and wanted to create similar things. I think the majority of the population draws a certain line here, seeing something amazing and wishing they could do something like it. However, without a bit of passion to follow that dream, most people simply do not follow it at all. The majority of you watching these videos do have that passion and understand what it is like to have this desire to create. For us, there's no line to cross. We simply step forward and never even see that line. Now, I don't know what it's like for you, but for me, this desire is as much a burden as it is a blessing. Well, maybe that's a bit unfair. I'm thrilled to be able to do the things I can do and extremely thankful for the inspirations and opportunities that allow me to continue to hone my skills. But there's another part of it, and I don't know if this is true for you or not, but there's this sort of dark side to it too. Every time I complete a project, I have it in my head that I'll take two or three days off and just do nothing at all. Just a sort of mini vacation after weeks of going nonstop. In the early days, this worked well as a reward to myself and an opportunity to recharge and refocus on the next project. Over time, though, the feeling of satisfaction after completing a project began to fade. Now when I finish something, I don't even feel it at all. This lack of satisfaction makes it so that I can't take off for a couple of days like I used to. I try to do it anyway because I know I need the break, but if I'm not working on something, I feel like I'm going crazy. Let's call this feeling the dark empty. In addition to this, there's this, like, creative need. This has always been there for me since I was old enough to hold a crayon. It's this drive that has always kept me trying new things and working on my skills. If I go for a few days without creating something, even something rather simple, then I begin to feel this sick feeling, like I'm lost or drowning in a way. I know that sounds awful, but I really see this as a good thing. It keeps me motivated and prevents me from being lazy or stagnant. Let's call this feeling the bright empty. Now, you would think that the dark empty and the bright empty would feed off each other and everything would be in balance. They do complement each other in a way, and on paper it should all work well. In the real world, however, it feels like I'm being eaten away from the inside, and it's causing my own creativity to begin to lose some of its vibrancy. Instead of being able to fulfill this need to create, I will often find ways to avoid it. This, as it turns out, is caustic to my nature. If creativity is not what drives me, then I need to drive myself to be creative, and that backwards method of motivation simply cannot be sustained. I hear about a lot of YouTubers getting what they call the YouTube burnout. I'm sure you've heard some of your favorite creators talk about it, and I can tell you that it's a very real thing. It's extremely difficult to stay in this game when YouTube keeps changing the rules and keeping all those rules a secret. There's just no telling what will cause a video to succeed or fail anymore, so literally none of us know what we're doing anymore. I thought for some time that this is what was happening to me. It actually is happening to me, but this is not the cause of this dark empty. I won't go on about how unfair YouTube has become. This issue reaches far outside of YouTube for me, so I know that the uncertainty on this platform is not the initial cause. These videos on YouTube are not all I do. I have bills to pay and other projects that need my attention, and the dark empty is present in these areas as well. So what is the solution? I'm still working on that, to be honest. At the moment, I feel I need to focus on reaching people and encouraging them to try new things that they are interested in but afraid of. 
That is, after all, what this YouTube channel is for. Literally the sole reason I remain on this platform doing this. It's certainly not about money or any kind of weird internet fame. I'm an extreme introvert, and it's awkward enough for me to step in front of a camera, let alone step in front of an audience who recognizes me publicly. But encouraging others to try new things while not holding myself to that same idea is wrong. I've never been afraid of trying new things, but it's still easy to dig yourself into a comfortable little rut and stay there. I need new inspiration and challenges, and I'm going to go after them. Some of the upcoming tutorials on this channel will not be traditional metal armor. It'll be in the same vein, and it will be the same quality you've grown to expect here, but there are new things coming. Some of you don't like when I go off script and do drawings and hot rod stuff, etc. Others of you seem to like whatever I do. I hope that all of you can give it a chance and see what comes of it. I have absolutely no intention of abandoning armor or metalworking, so don't worry about that. I just want to be sure that the content I put out can be consumed by the largest audience possible, all the while letting me explore my own creativity. I hope you've enjoyed this armor build. Please feel free to comment below with your thoughts on any of this. And while you're at it, drop some wisdom on me and other people reading the comments. Encourage them. Tell your story. Be that light in the darkness. See you next time, guys.